So what works best for my teaching environment is having something that's not as clunky as the TV. It was obviously significantly smaller and was sort of a bit of a palaver to plug all these different cables and go from the desktop to the computer and things like that. It was very complicated. Whereas the projecting screen is absolutely huge. And for such a, a square shaped classroom with lots of light coming in, some of the kids are a little bit off when they can't necessarily see everything so well. So this one in particular has just been like a superstar. Um, and the people at the back of the classroom, if there's seniors working at the back with the sinks, or they're working with design things at the back, they're still able to see every single detail or see some demos that I'm demonstrating on the, on the big projector screen. So it's been a bit of a lifesaver. With the interactive board, we can get up, we can write things on it, we can sort of interact with it as it's, it says in the name. The flat panel TV, when I first came to Cumberland Academy, I used that you know, extensively. And when I compare it with the, in, the interactive projector that we now have within the classroom, it's much better on, on a number of levels. Even the basics of a, a, a lesson where you're introducing a start at the beginning of the lesson to hook the kids in. It might be visual, it might be a graphic. If you walk about this room, any part of the room, you can see the, the board, you can see the information on the board very clearly, whereas in other classes, unfortunately, that's not the case with the flat panel. I'm more engrossed in the subject because it's interactive, because the teacher isn't constantly having to spend two minutes to walk around, change slides and mess about. I think when I began my, my teaching career I had a static board with a projector onto it which was reasonably useful for displaying images but there was no interactivity there, you couldn't write on the overlays or anything, um, you couldn't drag and drop, the functionality wasn't there. Moving to this has been really great having a short throw projector as well, previously the, the projectors were roof mounted and then the beam was cutting across quite a large portion of the classroom, people potentially walking in front of it and disrupting that. So spatially, the, the short throw projectors much, much better. Like our generation, like we've grown up with technology and it's a very big part of things, so if it's involved in classrooms then people might be less likely to use their phones and things like that because they are using other technology in class and it's more interactive with them and what they know rather than just the kind of old-fashioned teacher reads out you learn, you take down notes, things like that.